Hey guys, thank you so much for ordering your T-Bob presets. If you're watching this video, you likely order them. So thank you so much for supporting my small business, Tavoga Bust. Um, I am Alex. I'm the creator and editor of Tavoga Bust and of the presets. And I just want to put together this video to quickly walk you through how to make sure that your install goes super smoothly and it's a super easy process. So starting with Lightroom Classic CC, one important note about Lightroom Classic CC is that they now actually convert all preset files, which as you'll see, mine are LR templates, which are the original preset files. They now convert them into XMP, but you don't have to worry about it because it automatically converts them for you. That's why I made the presets LR templates to make sure they work for both Lightroom and Lightroom Classic CC. So you're going to go ahead and open your email. This is just a test one that I'm using here as an example. So it will look a bit different for desktop ones, um, but you will be able to open everything up and it'll go into your downloads. It's always a good idea when you're doing presets to create a folder on your desktop for easy access and for future reference too. So I would name this just however you want it to look like in your Lightroom preset folder because it, you can just copy and paste the whole folder over and not have to bother with renaming. So go ahead and open up your folder and just move everything over. You can go ahead and copy and paste the preset files into your new folder and obviously bring over your two little cheat sheets I made for you. One of them is an editing cheat sheet. It has mobile editing and desktop editing best practices in there. It's just a quick little overview of some easy editing tricks and also the install guide, which will easily take you through everything as well in addition to this video. And so as you can see, they're all LR templates. Go ahead and open up Classic CC. You're gonna go to Lightroom and then hit Preferences. Important distinction here is instead of going to show Lightroom Develop Presets, which might be the more intuitive option, you go to show all other Lightroom presets on the right here. Click that open and you're gonna just scroll up to Develop Presets and then go ahead and grab that folder on your desktop and you can see all your presets are in there. Go ahead and close everything down, including your Lightroom. Now reopen your Lightroom CC. And for some reason, my computer today is just struggling, so it's a bit slower here, but what will happen is you'll get a notification for all your custom developed presets being converted to XMP. Hit OK, and you should see your presets right there. And again, moving a bit slowly for some reason, my computer is struggling today, but you can go ahead and apply all your presets to whatever pictures you want. And um, in order to import or export or whatever else, you do that in the library mode, and I have that outlined in the editing guide. So for Lightroom, let's go ahead and open that up. You'll go up to Lightroom and hit Preferences, just like before. This time though, you'll see there's only one folder. So you'll go ahead and hit Show Lightroom Presets folder, and you will scroll up to Develop Presets, which took me some time to find for some reason. And you'll do the same thing, just copy and paste directly into the Develop Presets. And as you can see, all LR templates, and this time they won't actually get converted to XMP. So go ahead and restart your Lightroom, this is bad, you should always back up, but I'm skipping this time just for the sake of this tutorial. But please do back up usually because I've made the mistake of not doing it and you can lose some photos that way. And as you can see, your presets have already been integrated. You can go ahead and use them on any shot that you want. There is no conversion to XMP here, so they stay as LR templates. So again, very minor differences between Lightroom and Lightroom Classic CC. It's totally a preference. I use Classic CC because my job is so reliant on photography and I work through a ton of desktop editing all the time, but Lightroom is an amazing service and app, and it is really, really intuitive. And best of all, it also syncs with your cloud, so you'll be able to sync with your mobile app as well if you have one. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that helps simplify the whole process of getting presets into your preset folder, whether that's Lightroom or Lightroom Classic CC. It really is a super simple process and it really kind of adds to the whole fun and magic of editing. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much for purchasing the presets. If you purchase them, if you haven't yet and want to learn more, there is a link underneath this video in the description. So please go ahead and check that out. Thank you again so much, guys.